Hey guys, today I have a few snack recipes for you to create while on the Daniel Fast. These snacks are quick, easy, and will hold you over in between meals. I also have a few breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal recipes that you can check out after this video. If you're hungry throughout the day, just rely on these few snack ideas. To start, I'm going to be peeling these two ripe bananas and with my fork, I'm going to be smashing them into this bowl. Then pour in your oatmeal and water and combine these ingredients. Now I'm gonna add in some more oatmeal and applesauce and combine the rest of these ingredients. Next, I'm going to be rolling my oatmeal into balls and then placing them on the baking pan. At this time, you can preheat your oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. I was able to form 12 balls of oatmeal and now I'm going to press them down into cookies. Then I'm going to place them in the oven on 350 degrees for 25 minutes. I just took them out the oven and here we have beautiful oatmeal cookies and I'm going to open the inside of it so you can see what it looks like. But remember it's still hot. The next snack on my Daniel Fast are mixed fruit. You can never go wrong with fresh fruit. With this cantaloupe, I'm gonna be removing the seeds on the inside. Then I'm gonna flip the cantaloupe over and then remove the outer layer of the cantaloupe. And then I'll start slicing them into thin slices. Now I'm going to set this cantaloupe to the side and start working on my mango. I'm going to cut the mangoes into small cubes.
My next fruit is a honeydew. I'm just going to remove the seeds and the outer layer of the honeydew just like I did the cantaloupe and then slice them into thin slices and set them to the side. The only thing I'm going to do with these strawberries is cut them in half and set them to the side as well. Now that everything is cut up, let's start plating these fruits. So with this mixed tray of fruit, I was able to add six varieties of fruit. I hope you enjoy. The next snack of choice on my list are potato wedges. You want at least eight potatoes. You want to clean them off real well, cut them in half, and then into wedges. You want medium sized wedges. You don't want your wedges too thin or too thick because that affects your cook time. And you want all your wedges to be the same size. Now that all of my potatoes have been cut into wedges, I'm going to start adding my seasonings. But first, I'm going to pour in some olive oil. Then I'm going to add Old Bay, black pepper, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and sea salt. Now combine these seasonings to coat the potatoes with flavor. Then line these potato wedges on your baking sheet and place them in your 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Wait, wait, wait. Let's be more realistic. Just share my channel with at least 
one or two people. Bye.